All right, so we made it to uh, Bluestone National River, which is just south of New River Gorge. Uh, it's one of the three river-based national parks in West Virginia, uh, along with the, the Gauley River, the New River, and and this is the Bluestone. So this was definitely the hardest one of the three to get to. Uh, the roads getting here were insane. It's like a two-lane, one-way, twisty, turny. Uh, the last two or three miles was dirt. Also one lane, twisty, turny. Uh, I, might, I can smell my brakes when I got here. Um, yeah, that was probably one of the craziest roads I've ever been on. It seriously makes you drive for about 10 miles. Um, but it was worth it. We got uh, the Bluestone River behind me. Uh, it's pretty lazy in this section. Um, and it's pretty still over there. And when I first walked up here, there was an osprey in the tree over there, and it flew off uh, downstream. That was pretty neat. I love ospreys. Um, I don't think there's much in the way of like rafting or anything on this river. Um, you wind up, at least from what I'm seeing here, you wind up having to portage around a lot of stuff. So, and I didn't hear a lot of talk about rafting on the bluestone. So, it is pretty. Um, and there's a trail that follows the banks, so we're gonna hit a little bit of that and then uh, head out. There's no camping or much else to do here, so I just wanted to take it in for a little bit and kind of say that I've done it, add it to the list. There were stones at the Bluestone. Um, <clears throat> there was a local here who was fishing and he told us there were some carp in the river. So I came up to check it out and he wasn't kidding. They're huge. Um, they're just kind of behind me up in this area. I'll try and get a better shot of it. But uh, yeah, they're huge. They're like uh, 20 inches maybe. There's a whole school of them just kind of chilling. It's neat. So that was just a little bit of the Bluestone River, uh, National River. Uh, really not a... Unless you're going to be doing some hiking or I don't know how navigable the river is. It doesn't seem like it is much from here. Um, and this, this appears to be the only land accessible or road accessible point in the park. Um, yeah, this is definitely the most remote and uh, out of the three West Virginia river parks. Uh, and the drive here is worth the trip. That was that was some crazy roads getting here. <laughs> um, yeah, so from here we're gonna head back up into New River for a little bit, a quick overlook, um, and then we'll be heading out to Shenandoah. <laughs> 